what's up everybody so today's video is about how to be organized and we're going to show you a few examples in pictures where one picture shows a very messy very unorganized looking situation where it's very hard to find certain items that you're looking for and then we're going to show you another picture that shows a very neat very clean looking situation where it's very easy to find certain items that you're looking for but before you guys go all crazy organizing cleaning your guys' houses please um, check with your parent or your caregiver first before you do anything um, Places that you might want to start for yourselves is like your room or your closet But again, please check with your parent or your caregiver before you start touching anything um, But with that in mind, let's get started with the video So with this first picture as you can see right now you got pens you got pencils you got paper clips you got rubber bands you got a staple remover in the back you got scissors all over your desk and stuff so it looks like a very messy situation and you only have one pen inside of the pen holder which is exactly what that thing is for so this is an example of a very messy situation and a very unorganized situation so as you can see in the picture now it shows a lot more organized a lot more neat looking situation um, all of the paper clips are in a specific area, all of the rubber bands are in a specific area, and even the pens or pencils are a lot more easy to find because they're in an area that you know that they're supposed to be in. So whenever you need to write a quick note or whenever you need a rubber band, you don't have to dig through a pile of items just to look for that specific item. Um, so like I said, this is a lot more organized than the previous picture that you just saw. So this is another example of a very messy looking situation. You got papers all over the place. You got pens and pencils all over the place. You got your mask on top of your laptop, which is not really sanitary at all. Um, you got a shirt on your desk, which I don't know why there would be a shirt on there. Um, you got food, you got a sauce packet, you got water bottles, empty water bottles. So this is a very messy looking situation um, that definitely needs to be a lot more organized. But as you can see in the picture now, everything looks a lot more organized. Um, all the papers are on the paper rack. The laptop is inside of its cover. I didn't even know there was a tape and a stapler inside of that previous picture, so now that's organized. Um, the dirty clothes is inside of the laundry. Um, the open food, which was really unsanitary, is now in the trash. Um, and even the mask is in an area where it's not gonna get dirty or get dust on it or anything. Um, so this picture shows a lot more organized looking situation um, compared to the previous picture. So this is another example of an unorganized looking situation. Everything looks very messy, unneat, and unclean. Um, so it would be very hard to find specific items when you need them. So we're actually going to do a real quick scavenger hunt because if you haven't seen it by now, there's actually a pair of glasses and a remote control underneath this pile of items. So unless you're really good at that book, Where's Waldo? Or you just have really great eyes and you're great at scavenger hunts, um, I'm gonna give you guys five seconds to find the items that I was talking about. So five seconds starting now. All right, time's up. So if you haven't found the items by now, you can see the glasses were on the bottom left and the remote control was on the bottom right. So this is a great example of why you should be organized um, in your room or around the house because it's gonna be a lot easier for you to find items when you need them. So again, as you can see in the picture now, everything looks a lot more organized, a lot more neat and a lot more clean. Um, you know where everything is for the most part and now you can definitely see your glasses and the remote control which are at the bottom now. Um, so again, these are just great examples of why you should be organized in your room or even around the house. Alright everybody, so that's the end of the video. Again, before you start touching anything, please make sure it's okay with your parent or your caregiver firstly, before you start organizing or cleaning stuff around the house or even in your room. Um, but if anything, I hope you guys really enjoyed this video and I hope you guys are staying safe and taking care of yourselves out there. And I'll see you guys on the next one.